Hello everyone, Green Gemini here, and here we are playing Factorio. And we are on the new 0.18 version. Um, there's plenty of videos out there. 0.18 I think is in experimental right now, or it's been pushed to release. I don't remember exactly. Pretty sure it's uh, it's experimental only. Actually, let me <laughs> let me take a look at this before I even say anything. Yeah, it's it's experimental only. It's it's not been pushed out yet. So anyway, so we are doing 0.18, which is one step closer to 1.0. Um, they're getting there. I figured. What I'm going to do from now on, and this is, you know, we're going to change things up a little bit here on the channel. And I know that I've been absent from the channel for a while. There's just, you know, different things going on in life and time constraints and so on and so forth. Um, so anyway, so it's a lot easier for me to sit down and play a game for like two hours at a time rather than sit, play a game for 30 minutes, mess with it for an hour and try and do something with it. And then, you know, go on from there. Um, so it's just, it's not easy. Um, but it's a lot easier for me to sit, play for a couple of hours, and then move on from that. Um, so what I've been doing is I've actually been streaming on Twitch with this current build. Uh, so if you want to look at that, go ahead and join the stream down in the description below. You can click on the link to my Twitch channel and follow me on there. Been doing pretty good lately. Uh, Monday through Friday is when I will be streaming. Occasionally, I will do it on Saturdays or Sundays, just depending on timing. Um, and if the other half is out of town, to be honest with you. Um, so anyway, I want to walk you through what I've done so far. And then every episode hereafter will show you kind of an overview of what I've done on the stream and then what I want to do going forward. Um, there's also going to be, I'm going to say, I don't know, I'm going to figure out a way to do some blueprints and get that stuff out to you guys as well. So I don't know, just kind of let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you're just now joining the channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified on when I upload videos. I'm going to try and do about, I don't know, at least either right before a stream or right after a stream, I will try and get one of these done and get it uploaded. So, <coughs> like I said, we're going straight into what I've done so far. I think I've, I'm at about eight hours, I think. Um, this is a very, very heavily modded playthrough. <laughs> Very heavily modded. Um, some of the mods that you see here in red haven't been completely updated yet for the 0.18 version. Um, so I just kind of have to wait for those updates to happen as they happen. It'll show that I have updates. I don't have any now because I've already done it. Um, so yeah. So a couple of the ones. This one actually just updated AAI Vehicle Laser Tank. Um, Afraid of the Dark, one of my most go-to mods. Same with Aircraft. Auto Deconstruct is a new thing that I'm going to try out. Uh, Better Belts, Big Brother, always love those. Uh, Better Bots Technologies, I'm, I'm really, really wanting this one to get done and, and updated because I need that mod. <laughs> I really, really need that mod for what I'm doing right now. Um, so there's there's just there's a whole bunch of, of mods here. I will list all of these in the description down below as they update to what we want or what we are going to be using, um, I will, I will fluctuate that a little bit as well. So I'll have a list of mods currently used mods waiting for update. And then we'll just kind of go from there. All right. So we're good here. Go back. Um, I would hit, this is something, the main menu is different, right? The main menu is a little bit different. You actually have a continue mode now, so you can actually just continue right on to your previous one that you were doing rather than hit single player, load game, and then go into that, blah, blah, blah. But I wanted to do this anyway because, oh, we're actually almost at eight hours. Did I say seven hours before or did I say eight? I don't remember. Anyway, and then all of my mods are listed here, at least what's currently active. All right, so here's where I left off with this so far, with this build. Um, we might need to pay attention to these couple little biter nests <laughs> that are over here because um, I just built this and my pollution is already starting to get into that one right there. So as soon as it absorbs enough pollution, then they will definitely attack. 
I'm gonna have to take them out later. But anyway, I already have this um, outpost set up, but let's start at the beginning of where I started out. So my starting area was this area right here, right? So we started going through, started doing some stuff, started building some stuff, started with getting power into this area here. Let me turn that off. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> pardon me. My allergies have been horrible lately, so bear with me, okay? Um, so I have got power down here, small little power plant, and then I have, <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and then we've got um, the start of our supply base up here. Now the end goal for this whole thing, and I don't know how long this is going to take, it could take a week, or it could take a month, it could take two months, it could take, I don't know, it's, it's going to take a while though. Um, that's kind of why I want to stream this rather than try and do episode by episode because there's a lot of stuff that's going to be involved in doing this. So currently right now I have my bus getting ready to, well I have it set up and ready to go. Um, as you can see I have iron and copper here. These are going to feed into a green circuit uh, array that actually is on the schedule to be done today as this video goes out so on the stream. Um, so that's what I'm getting ready to be to work on. I've got two iron plate uh, columns here to go down this way. Steel processing here, two copper plate processings here, and then one very large stone brick processing plant right here. Um, now I think the other thing of what I'm going to do with this is I think I'm going to add a coal drop off here and then I'm going to split some of this stone off onto part of the bus because I don't necessarily need all of that. Um, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I might do something completely different though. I might actually I think what I talked about doing before was taking like the stone here and the iron and the coal that's over here and then doing a drop off like right here and then having it come down and join the bus over here this way. I might do something like that. I don't know yet, but I have to have ore on the bus itself because we're going to be using it. Coal is used for weapons. Stone is used for something. I don't remember. <laughs> no, stone is used for uh, for for this, for the rails. Um, and then iron is used for concrete, right? Yeah, iron is used for concrete. Um, what I want to do is I want to be able to create some type of road network in here. I have the uh, the asphalt mod, which hasn't been updated to 0.18 yet, but it will eventually. Um, and then from there, I don't know. I don't know. We've I've already I, this in itself is like I said, this has taken eight hours to do um, and it's kind of crazy. It is It's kind of kind of crazy. Most of most of what we have is of the building is this down throughout here that that's taken a while um, but now that I have a, a mass production of things that are happening it's gonna be a lot easier to create a lot of the things that I need um, thought process that I have is that <clears throat> so we're gonna have a road that comes down through this way and probably come out this way and then the road will continue on down this way as well um, I might have <clears throat> the road run the length of the rail for a little bit just to kind of see where things go it kind of depends but zooming out here on the map and this is what I love about the Big Brother mod is you get a really good view of what's going on I think I only have maybe four or five maybe six radars down right now so that's that's the advantage of what's going on here a um, couple plans that I have are up here which I thought I put this in here, but I guess not. So the nuclear plant is going to go in here. Mostly because of where stuff is. So I've got 12 million of this here. And it's right next to water. So kind of makes sense that it goes there. Um, I, I ooh, It would be interesting to put it right inside this peninsula. <laughs> That's actually a pretty decent idea too. We'll see. We'll see. I might end up... Maybe we do two. Maybe we do two nuclear plants. I don't know. Um, 
But I've already started going through and labeling all of this stuff. So the main goal now is to get our supply base set up. And that's that's what this is. This is just going to be our supply base. And we are going to be doing like one science pack per minute. No, one science per second. That's what we're doing. Some factory recipes and one or more mods are currently not loaded. Sync oh, crap. Huh. All right, so new sub factory. We're going to say automation science. Automation science. Weird. And this is what's going to help us do it. <laughs> this is this is going to help us get uh, what we need. So submit that. That's weird. Can I just delete that? Yes. So this in itself will help us. We go through with this factory planner. I want to produce automation science and I want one. And then that one is going to be per second. And then we have an option over here to choose what type of machine that we want to or assembly. Yeah, assembly machine that we want to do it in. Uh, say for right now, I have blue. Okay. So that's going to give me the ability to do. So I need seven of those. And then I'm going to need copper plates, which means I need four of those, which really I, I don't really care about that. Uh, but I do need to know how many assembly machines I'm going to need for that, which I need one. So that's that's really it. That's all I need. Oh, which, of course, I messed this up. Delete. I don't I still don't know all the mechanics of this. <laughs> I really don't. It's it, it drives me nuts sometimes. Um, anyway, so amount one. Submit one per second. Give me that Ugh, for crying out loud. Anyway, you get the idea, okay? You, you get the idea of what I want to do. I am not the smartest when it comes to this kind of stuff. I still know nothing about circuit networks just because they, they give me a headache. Um, the math in this, I mean, I'm good at math, don't get me wrong, but like ratios and trying to figure out some of this crap is like way above my head. A lot of times I play this game for the aesthetics of it. It's fun. I like doing it. I like to create different things. Um, and to each their own. Everyone has their own style of play when it comes to uh, comes to this game. So anyway, that's that's kind of the overview of the whole thing. The end game for this, after we have the supply base done, is to either get a mega base in here. Uh oh, we're under attack. Um, either get a mega base in here or do something to the effect of. Um, Right now, we're going to be doing one science pack per second, maybe doing a um, thousand per minute and then five thousand per minute, you know, just kind of building, right? Just building the base, building the factory as much as we possibly can, having outposts of things that need to be created. Um, you know, if we go through like kind of one of my plan and one of my ideas is to so we'll have our main supply base here. And then I want to go off and create a base for weaponry, right? I think that would be a lot of fun. So anything under combat, all of the stuff under combat can be created in one area. So we would need to figure out how much materials we would need for all of that kind of stuff. Which would be a lot. It would. It would be an absolute lot, that is for sure. Um, but that, that's, that's kind of the fun of it, right? That's, that's what, we would, what we would need to do. Um, and then having, you know, maybe a logistics area, something like that, you know? So just kind of thinking out the box. If you guys think of anything that you'd like to see in the series, go ahead and put it in the comment section down below. And then we'll kind of see what, uh, what I can do when it comes to, uh, putting that in the game, doing it on the stream or anything like that. Again, if you want to follow on the stream, go ahead and click on the link in the description down below to the Twitch channel and follow me over there. I'm going to try my best to do Monday through Friday. Times will vary depending on my schedule and what I've got going on. Uh, anytime between 6 and 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time is when I will be uh, when I'll be going. So anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed this. More, more to come. Again, if you have any questions, let me know and I will be best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.